What's good friends and family, Mr. Flip Flop here with another informative video for you guys. So I believe I've already done two or three uh, cost of living in Dominican Republic, but those were done a while ago. So someone asked me to do another one. And since life has changed for me, it's time to update you guys on the cost of living in the Dominican Republic. Now what I need right now is for you guys to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support your boy. What's up, what's good guys? So you've already subbed to the channel. You're down with the Paradise Life Movement. You know about one of the top restaurants in the North Coast of Dominican Republic, Flip Flop Sports Bar. So now let me guys give you the info that you've been waiting for. I did three months and wrote all this down, basically checking each month that it stayed around the same. So I'm gonna, gonna give you guys, first, the cost of living, meaning the basic cost of living, and then I'm gonna add in the extras because a lot of you guys don't live like I live, I don't live like you live. So we have to give the basic cost of living and then the extras that go into it and then total it all up. So first, I'm doing all of this in dollars. I'm not gonna confuse you guys. I'm doing all of this in dollars so you can understand it in dollars. But my word of advice to each one of you is to get all of your bills in pesos. The peso say so. So, if you have a rent, make sure it's in pesos. If you have a car note, make sure it's in pesos. The idea is, no matter what the dollar does up and down, if you're paying in pesos, the peso is the same no matter what the dollar is. So you won't have to worry about that. So that's just my advice to you, pay in pesos. But I'm gonna give you guys the dollar amount for everything I have on my list. First is rent. My rent, is 215 US dollars. Yes, 215 US dollars. My light bill, which has gone up because I use AC now once in a while, uh, is on average of 30 US dollars. This is per month now. 30 US dollars per month on average is my light bill. Now for food, it's a little funny with food because remember I'm at the bar almost all day every day. So food just for the house, I'm talking about food in the house is average about 300 330 a month. Let's say $330 a month for food. But as I said, that's the food in the house. I don't sit home all day. I'm not home a lot, but when I am home, that's the food I keep in my house. Um also basically also for food, my budget for going out to eat is anywhere from 150 to $200. I kept it around at 150 cuz sometimes I get a quick quick bite to eat and I'm happy. So I added that in there, but the first part is food for the house. Now, my car insurance per year is 30,000 pesos a year. That turns out to be $45 a month. So my car insurance per month is $45 US. My health insurance, and I'm going to do a health insurance video, stay tuned for that, is $46 per month. So my health insurance, including dental, is $46 per month. Uh, my phone, I have two phone plans, is about $80 a month, both plan combined, $80 a month, 40 and 40. My cable and Wi-Fi is $80 a month. I have a good Wi-Fi plan, I have basic cable, well not basic, pretty good cable, but I, I'm really focused on the Wi-Fi plan. So that's $80 a month. Now. That is the basic cost of living, what you need just to live. That number totaled is $976, less than $1,000 on your basic needs to live. Now we get into the extras. So as I said, guys, everything you have in your life is customized to you. Everything's customized to me. So this list of extras is may not be on your list, but I'm going to add it to my list so you guys have an understanding of what I spend every month. Now, gas. Gas is pretty expensive in Dominican Republic, but my vehicle gets good gas mileage. So I fill up about two times a month, sometimes one and a half, basically. Uh, I, I rounded it off to $80 US a month for gas. 80 US for gas. Uh, entertainment, you guys know I like to go out. Paradise Life, we, we like to party, we like to have fun. I put it around $250 US 
and that's just for me. When we go out, the, the bill's kind of high, but my personal budget is around $250 a month. Also, I have children in Dominican Republic. My kids run me about, I average it to about $275 US per month for my kids in Dominican Republic. So I also added another section, miscellaneous. Something pops up, something needs to get fixed. I may spend a little extra this month. Averaged out to about $125 per month. So my extras are gas, entertainment, kids, miscellaneous. So someone will say, why'd you add kids to extras? Well, guess what, guys? Some of you guys don't got kids, and some of you will never have kids in the Dominican Republic. So that's my extras, not your extras. So that number for extras is $730 US per month. Now, when I combine my basic needs and my extras, it totaled out to be $1,706 per month is what I basically live off of with my basic needs and my extras. Could it go up and down per month? Here and there. But as I told you guys, for under $2,000 a month, you can live very well in the Dominican Republic. I live fine. You can live fine. Um, I expect my rent to be going up soon because I'm moving soon. But right now, that is the current budget. Under $2,000 for my basic needs and my extra entertainment, kids, etc., etc. So you guys stay tuned. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Support the Paradise Life Movement. Become a member of the channel. Support the channel as well. When you're in town, definitely come to the dopest spot in Dominican Republic on the North Coast. Flip Flop Sports Bar. Appreciate all you guys from me to you. Hit that like button, guys. Stay tuned for more.